and welcome to Straight to Coding. Today we are going to talk about memory cache in .NET Core. Right now, cache is a data storage layer which sub which stores a subset of data. Okay, and our memory cache or memory caching is just a technique in which applications temporarily store data in memory to enable fast retrieval of that data. Okay, now in .NET Core is very simple to add um, the memory cache service to the container. All you have to do is call this extension. Okay, add memory cache extension. Now, if you have a look at the memory add memory cache extension, all it does is add a singleton of the memory cache into your application. All right, it's very simple. So now it's available in our in our application. So therefore, I've created a very simple data service and data controller. Okay, so the data service, all it does is very simple few op operations, which is get, uh, insert or update, which we call it upset here. We have two overloads, which one, one is to set it permanently during, in the memory, and one is to set an expiration date, okay? And the final one is literally just to delete the data from memory. Let's quickly have a look in the implementation. So here, we try to get the data from memory, and if we find it, we return that data. If not, we return no. For the for the upset, all we do is set the data in memory permanently. And the one another overload of the upset mem uh, upset method is literally add expiration to the stored data. Okay, and the final one is literally just to remove data from memory. Okay, very simple. Uh, we have a controller here, and the purpose of the controller is literally just provide endpoints where we can play with the memory cache. So we have a get, we have a post, and we have a put, and we have a, a delete. Okay, so the put is literally just to set an expiration of 20 seconds on the data stored in memory, and the post is literally just to store it permanently in memory. Okay, don't forget that this is memory caching, so it's available when the, once, once the application is running, but when the application stops, the memory is removed, deleted, and you, you lose data. Okay, so it's from memory. Okay, so now let's run it. Let's run our application. We will attempt to get a data. Obviously, there's no data stored. Okay, so let's say string key or whatever, key. Okay, uh, when we try to get data here, we try to get data, obviously there's no data because we just started the application, so we should end up getting a 444, uh, 404 right there. Now let's attempt to put data in memory, let's use this one, the put, okay, and let's set the key, so we're going to set it with the same key. And the value is string value here. So let's now add set the data in memory. Okay, so we go here, and what we are going to do here is set it for 20 seconds. Okay, so let's click on continue. So the data is now set for 20 seconds in memory. Okay, so let's try to get the data again using the same key. Okay. So there you go, that's your data, and it was set for 20 seconds. Uh, let's also try to set different data using the post. So here we just have string, and the data is string post. And we're going to set it this time permanently in the in-memory. Okay, so um, before we... we before we um, check again this value here, we wait for 20 seconds, but let's try and get this first. Okay, so here the key is string, just string. And press F5. There, that's your value. Now, I think it's been 20 seconds, so we can try and get um, the data from here using the key, and hopefully, it will be removed because maybe it's been more than 20 seconds. Okay, so let's see. 
there the memory is being removed because it's been more than 20 seconds so we are getting 404 so the data is gone okay this is a very simple uh, way of adding caching to your application for performance reasons for um, um, good way of storing data and stuff like that okay so now um, the data is gone the data can be updated the data can be retrieved and stuff like that okay very simple and don't forget that once I stop the application like this the data is gone it's removed there's no memory cache again because it's memory so it's gone if I was to start the application again and attempt to retrieve the data using the keys that I set earlier uh, like for instance this one it, will, it won't be available okay because we stopped the application so we've lost that mem data stored in memory okay so there you go that's why you have 404 so it's gone a very simple way of adding cache to your application cache into your application very simple okay Thank you very much um, for watching the video and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.